Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Psalm 85, verse 10. And the translation that I'm reading says, Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. When I think of this verse, I also think of the woman that was honored in Proverbs 31. She was the epitome of love, faithfulness, righteousness, and peace. She walked firmly in these qualities and every person who encountered her saw and felt these attributes. It's something for each of us to reach toward. Even if you aren't a woman, the qualities of a Proverbs 31 woman should be within you and should be something you seek to find in others, especially the person you want to be your spouse. There are 21 verses that describe the type of person who is selfless, hardworking, determined, never complaining or making excuses for failure, never lazy, takes care of house, home, and family, and walks upright. This person is creative, an entrepreneur who makes a way out of no way and sees beyond the trees, while others are stuck focusing on the entrance to the forest. Who is virtuous can you have love without faithfulness or faithfulness without love are we hung up on words and not their meanings and sentiments I I love you is tossed around so casually like a pair of shoes what does love truly mean to you what does faithfulness truly mean to you What do loyalty, virtue, and grace truly mean to you? People fall in and out of love like a yo-yo diet. I mean, one day they love you, the next day they're cheating on you, the next day they're bad-mouthing you, and then the next day they say, let's try and make this work. (laughs) And I ask, who said this is love? Love protects. Love does no harm. To protect someone means to make sure no harm comes to them by you or others, but how can you protect someone when you're busy watching your own back? How can you protect someone when you are more concerned with covering your tracks? How can you love and protect someone when you are only concerned with yourself and what you're getting out of a situation? We can quote phrases, scripture, passages, and verses about amazing and awesome people from the Bible and other sources, but if we aren't living by example and emulating these great leaders, then what's the purpose of talking about them? Your name and story will never be a part of the great book, but your life and how you live it may be the only Bible and representation of Christ that some may see. Are we being the best examples of Christians, God's children, and ambassadors of Christ that we can be? Every day, let's strive to do our part to be better and to do better. I strive to be that virtuous woman every single day. I know she's me because God made me that way. I must rebuke the lies, speak the truth over me, and daily transform my heart and mind to be aligned with God's design. It's never too late. Let's pray on it. Father, I pray for peace within and for clarity and vision. I pray that the love I have and want is met with and joined in an everlasting embrace with faithfulness. I pray to always know 
remember, express, and stand firmly in who I am as your child. Let my words and actions be clear and intentional and never cause harm. Remind me always to turn to Jesus' example of how to walk with you. Remind me that with you, I have the courage to go to the giants and enter battles like Joshua, Caleb, and David. Help me to be loyal like Ruth to Naomi and Joseph to Mary. Help me to be as nurturing as the women who cared for and protected baby G Moses and as humble as Abigail, Moses, and Joseph, the son of Jacob. Help me to live my life like the Proverbs 31 woman, always seeing the importance of being virtuous. In your name, I humbly pray. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.